successful. You know, since 1963, the President of the United States has issued a proclamation announcing a National Small Business Week. The week recognizes the critical contributions America's entrepreneurs and small business owners make. We are here today to recognize the importance of thriving local retailers. Of the nearly 8,000 businesses in Madison County, 94%, 94% have less than 50 employees. In businesses that small, the margin of profit can be equally small. By supporting them, you make sure that our friends and neighbors keep their jobs. And it is important to keep our tax dollars in Huntsville and Madison County. Not only that, it's important to retain the local flavor of our community, well represented here. Speaking of flavors, who doesn't love chocolate? And even better, the handcrafted chocolate goodness found right here at Fizzell's. Doesn't it smell great in here? We're gonna eat some of it too here in a little bit. And the Chamber is very honored to be kicking off Small Business Week at your place at Fazell's. Fazell's is a great small business success story. They continue to lead their industry by creating truly wonderful confections. So, if you need to shop for Mother's Day, graduation, weddings, or other special events, please keep in mind Fazell's as well as all small businesses when you break out your credit cards next week. In doing so, each of you can have a very big impact on our community by doing business with our small retailers. Well, I guess you could say Huntsville, Madison County has a sweet tooth for small businesses coming to Pazell's. That would be my last pun of the, of the day, I promise. So, you know, really, you know, it is our locally owned businesses that make Huntsville unique. That's the reason why people come here. Nobody comes here because we have the the best big box store we have the best small businesses and while next week might be small business week every week in Huntsville Madison County is small business week as far as we're concerned uh, you know we cannot say enough about the unbelievable entrepreneurs that we have in this community uh, they're the reason why we are recognized globally as a smart place to live work and play and they're the reason why Huntsville Madison County uh, will continue to grow and we're very proud of all our small businesses so just remember shop small business every day next week there's something to buy every single day definitely eat out uh, go buy your mom a nice present I need to do that I might buy her some chocolate later who knows the smell and the aroma in here and the food reminds me as a father of three that food a lot of times can be used as bait that's how a lot of times I get the boys home is we'll cook for them and they'll show up but uh, it smells wonderful in here, and to hear you talk sweet tooth as a pun, you know, I thought back to my family, who actually the only time our family forayed into small business was an ice cream parlor in Baldwin, Missouri called The Sweet Tooth. And I think it gave me an understanding as a teenager of, of what it takes to be a, to a small business owner, of, of the nights that my parents sat at the kitchen table talking about how they were gonna make, you know, the, the payments that were needed for even the ice cream that they were trying to sell to make more money. Um, you're chief cook and bottle washer a lot of times as a small business owner, and, and yet they are the lifeblood of what makes communities great. Um, you know, you hear entrepreneur, and a lot of times I, I feel like, you know, you become an entrepreneur when you can actually spell it because you care enough about being there to figure out how to be one, and you, you market and, 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 and you agonize over your employees, but, but you make our community strong. And so in a, as a city government, what we want to do is take care of the infrastructure, that helps you get people to and from your businesses easier, create events that you can use to build around the, the business around. Um, and, and, and as importantly, work with the chamber. You know, that's why we as a city support the chamber because giving money to them in turn can be used for programs and, and, and events that connect you with people that can make your business stronger and, and have more traction to folks who come here. So we are thrilled in the city of Madison and Huntsville and Madison County for Small Business Week we encourage folks to put a focus on helping our small businesses become that much more successful. Uh, we all win when that happens. And so thanks to the Chamber for doing this and we look forward to next week. I'm very happy to be here um, to celebrate three of my favorite things, chocolate, coffee, and small business. I'm Tom Tote, District Director for the Alabama District Office of the U.S. Small Business Administration. And I appreciate the invitation of Pammy Jamar, the small business uh, folks at the Chamber here for the invitation. When you work for the federal government, frankly, you're happy to be invited anywhere. So we're very happy to be here. 
and uh, to be in this wonderful venue with all these wonderful smells and everything and uh, to kick off National Small Business Week which actually is next week but Huntsville has always been ahead of your time up in this area. Um, small business is big in the state of Alabama. Statewide Alabama has over 380,000 small businesses which is not almost 97 percent of all the businesses in Alabama. Those folks employ almost 800,000 employees which is almost half of Alabama's labor force. So indeed small business is big business uh, nationwide statewide and certainly in every community of communities that make up the state of Alabama so it's it's exciting to see you know the Bible says that for lack of vision the people perish and it's wonderful to see the vision in, in this uh, adaptive reuse facility here and the businesses that it's helping to grow and what that will mean to uh, Huntsville Madison area uh, for the families directly involved and indirectly involved. Tourism, I mean, those dollars turn over an awful lot of times. So appreciate all of your support of small business. Uh, couldn't do it without partners in, in the municipalities. Thank you for that. Our volunteers of the chamber and the folks that own and operate the small businesses. And, and the folks that are the encouragers out there, the amen corners and whatnot. So thank you for being here as well. Thanks. I'm Caitlin Lyon. I'm Michelle Novacell. We are sisters and the co-owners of Pitzel's Confections. We opened here at Low Mill in 2013 uh, with just the two of us, um, and I was only here part-time and one employee. We started off just serving our artisan handmade chocolate truffles and some other confections. And last month we had our four-year anniversary, and on our four-year anniversary we opened our expansion, which is the bakery and dessert cafe so we're now we now have 10 employees apart from the two of us and we make uh, more desserts and more cakes and cannolis and um, more plated desserts and more coffee um, so when you support a small business like Pitzel's or any of these small businesses you're actually you're supporting your local community in so many different ways we do our best to partner with many many local businesses um, and we use so we try to use local products whenever possible. We um, get our fresh fruit from the Farm Food Collaborative, um, Coffee Clutch, Salty Nut Brewery. Um, it, the list goes on and on, and we want to keep all of that in the community. Um, and so you're really just, you know, supporting everyone's supporting each other. It's it's a wonderful environment to be in, and um, we're so happy. Uh, that you all could be here today. Yes. Thank you very much for yes. coming to kick off National Small Business Week and thank you to the Chamber thank you. and everyone for all the support. Huntsville's got a good ecosystem for small business and startups and um, we definitely took advantage of a lot of that and hopefully more new businesses will as well.